Okay guys, today I'm going to uh, walk through uh, how to use uh, the, the new Ride with GPS experiences application and just how easy it is to get off and going uh, routing and, and uh, navigating your way in uh, any of the rides that we're doing, whether they're by bicycle, hiking, or scooter. Okay, I've scanned the shortcut. I'm going to go ahead and enter <clears throat> some basic information. We'll call it test. Test. Test at G-S-A-S-T-U-T-O dot com. And then save it, submit it, and bingo. <clears throat> It'll come up with this cute little Nakasendo to Samurai. Uh, this one is the Nakasendo Samurai Trail, Matsuida to Kyoto. View the route. So I've got a few routes in here. And let's just choose the first route. And there we go. This is the route with a bunch of POIs on there. I'm going to hit navigate. And now it's ready to navigate. So we'll take it over. In three quarters mile, turn right. <laughs> it's already navigating. Let's take it over to a scooter and pop it on and see how it goes. Okay, back again. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the um, mobile phone that I set up. Just gonna mount it in here like so. And we'll turn on the scooter. And I'm going to hit recenter. And I'm going to bump that up a little bit just because it's nice to see a little bit bigger. And let's go for a quick ride and see what happens. So according to this, I'm right on the route. We'll go up to the first POI, which is uh, Ichirizuka. Okay. This is uh, Ichirizuka. It's back, hidden back over there in the bushes. And you can see on the screen here, Ichirizuka is in the garden behind the house. This is the actual point, Ichirizuka number 32, Nibori Ichibizuka in the garden behind the house, blah, blah, blah. Faintly visible in the bamboo. There you go. So now we can just continue on to the next uh, POI or as far as we want to go. And the, uh, the app will give us some nice... Uh, bit of notification along the way. I'll see if I can get one to I've got the scooter set so it maxes out at around 20 kph. It keeps me nice and slow.
really handy way to explore little back roads. Now we're following the old railway. We have Mount Miyogi in the background. Don't get a lot of traffic out here. This is the old Shinetsu line. Beautiful little valley view. You can see some of the rice fields down there. And of course, Mount Miyogi. We're coming up to what I call monkey crossing because there's Typically a lot of monkeys that hang out, live in the forest just over to the left there. In a quarter mile, turn right. And there we go. And that's the type of notifications that we'll be getting all the way. <laughs> 